Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And since I had the camera outside, I thought I'd go ahead and answer another question that one of the subscribers asked, which is my antennas that I use for um, scanner listening, for UHF, VHF listening. And the little tiny antenna, you see me come over to it, right up there on the peak of my house is what I use. And let me see if I can zoom in, reposition the camera again. Up there on the peak of the roof, which is about uh, 20, 25 feet high, is a very simple antenna. It's just got like three or four radios. It's uh, originally was sold by Radio Shack many years ago. You can um, you can still get this antenna, but it, it does a great job on all bands above 30 megahertz. And it's not fantastic on any band, but it's good on all bands. And the fact that in this case, it's 25 to 30 feet in the air makes reception really well. And the other antennas that you may have seen here, let me back out. Um, the one problem I've got is, um, the sky is gray and causing, you know, high contrast, so you may not be able to visualize things too well. But the two uh, antennas pointing about 45 degrees above horizon are for working uh, amateur radio satellites on you know, VHF and UHF. One is for UHF, one's for VHF. And I haven't used those in a long time because the rotor which is, see if I can zoom in on the rotor. Um, right there is the rotor, is a as L rotor it's called. It goes up and down as far as the horizon and goes side to side. Um, so you can point it at any area in the sky when it's working. It hasn't worked in quite a few years. It does still rotate. Um, but it does not go up and down, pointing up and down on the horizon. So that's another set of antennas I've got. And then if I back up here for a second, you can see behind it, I don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, it's kind of in the crosshairs there. Let me move the camera a little bit. Hold on so we can maybe see it. I don't know if we can or not. Where'd it go? Uh, it's up there someplace. On that pole right there, you can barely see it, is another antenna for scanning VHF and UHF. A little tiny one. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right there, it's the same antenna as the one I showed you that's on the peak of the roof, or wherever that went. There it is right there. The same as that one. That, and that's what I use for shortwave, I mean, excuse me, UHF and VHF frequencies using my scanner. And then lastly, and of course it's not my last antenna, but the last antennas we can see from the front yard are these two antennas, one above the other, which is for uh, shortwave listening. It's a, there are long wire antennas. Uh, they're in-fed antennas, and they're approximately 40 feet long, and they go out to a tree in my front yard. So that's kind of the antennas I've got. Hopefully that answers the question about what antenna to use for UHF and VHF scanning, not transmitting. Um, and they, like I say, they used to sell by, or sold by Radio Shack for $16.95. Um, I don't think Radio Shack, the remaining Radio Shack, still carry it. They might. The last time I checked a couple years ago before Radio Shack closed most of the stores, they were selling for about $26.95. I've seen them on Amazon 
they're about the same price, about $26 to $30 on Amazon, which is a lot because there's not much to them, but they work well. So that's the show for today. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for everybody that has subscribed. Bye-bye.